Hey there, it's Chris from LazyLemming.com, and today we're going to be talking about Microsoft and Nintendo. Now, the big news is that Microsoft's Don Matrick, who is a big pusher of the Xbox One, has left Microsoft in order to join Zynga. Now, if you're not familiar with Zynga, they make the popular games like Farmville and Farmville 2 and a lot of uh, classic rip-offs. Now, the reason that's been rumored for Don to have been leaving Microsoft is that he was pushed out after huge consumer backlash against the Xbox One. Now, Don was pushing all the Xbox One policies that people hated. You know, he was pushing the always online or the 24-hour check-ins, the no-used games, all of the stuff people hated. And um, it was rumored that he was being pushed out. But the fact is, the fact is that Don was really going to be leaving around April. Now, it's rumored that in April is when he got his first smartphone, and he got addicted to words with friends. And uh, it just so happened that Zynga and Don are the perfect match, because Zynga kind of embodies everything that Don wanted the Xbox One to be. Uh, you know, it's, it's more about a cock tease. It's a big cock tease, and that's what Don wanted the Xbox One to be. He wanted, he wanted the consumers to think they were getting something, but really they're paying for everything in bits and pieces after they, you know, they give a big chunk of money. And so Zynga and Don Matrick, so Don is where he belongs now. We just didn't deserve a great mind like his in our industry, and now that's why he's moved over to phones and uh, Zynga, you know, he's getting big money now. He's flying private jets. Moving on to Microsoft news, it turns out that Microsoft thought that they owned Donkey Kong. Back in 2002, uh, when Microsoft forked over $375 million for Rare, a couple of the uh, top execs stopped by to visit the studio. And uh, Chris Siever, a former Rare employee, and they're all former now, they're all former Rare employees, Rare's a totally different company. But um, back in 2002, he said that some of the top top Microsoft executives stopped by to visit their new toy, the new place that they just bought. And they saw some Donkey Kong posters hanging on the walls. And they said, hey, that's great. We own Donkey Kong, right? And then he's just kind of like metaphorically face palming himself. But so they, they thought that they owned Donkey Kong. Now, don't laugh. It's not funny. It's not funny. Microsoft wanted it. They wanted something Nintendo-ish because they originally were in talks to try to buy Nintendo. That was when Microsoft thought they could just pay their way through everything. Not like today. They don't try that today. But uh, earlier, a year or two earlier, they were trying to buy Nintendo. So I guess they thought they'd get the next best thing by buying Donkey Kong when they got Rare. And this is true because back in the when Rare released Grab by the Ghoulies, Microsoft paid P. Diddy probably millions of dollars to say at the end of the commercial from the creators of Donkey Kong, Grab by the Ghoulies. So, take from that what you will. Poor Microsoft. I feel I just feel bad for Microsoft. They've had nothing but bad news hitting them, and it turns out shit wasn't going right for them even back in 2002. They, their wallet just doesn't work the way it used to. Let's move on to Nintendo and the Wii U. Now, the news right now is that the Wii U sales numbers are pretty bad. In North America, the console's been averaging around 40 to 50,000 units per month. That's pretty low. But I did some number digging on my own, and I found out that things aren't nearly as bad as they could be. Let's look at Sega, for example. Now, the Dreamcast, which was Sega's most recently released console, is doing much worse than the Wii U right now. The sales numbers are so low that people aren't even talking about them anymore. Finding a new Dreamcast is practically impossible as it is. You can only find one in like a garage sale or at eBay, and the prices are much higher than the Wii U, which has far superior hardware. So I'd say that Sega is in a much worse position than Nintendo right now. And that's not the only example, folks. The Xbox is doing extremely poorly. It's rumored that the Xbox is selling so little that Microsoft has stopped production of the console altogether. So yes, the Wii U could be in better shape, but it's doing a lot better than some of its competitors. And that's all for today, everyone. If you haven't checked out my video on why girls should not game online, please do so. It's extremely important. And uh, please, subscribe to this channel. we got new content coming all the time. And comment, what are your thoughts on today's news? Uh, Don Matrick leaving, is he going to be missed? 
What about uh, Donkey Kong? Should Microsoft own Donkey Kong? Would they do it better? Um, and Nintendo, what are your thoughts? How can Nintendo improve sales of the Wii U? Come on, backseat drivers. Fix it. Fix the industry. In the meantime, uh, subscribe, comment, like, whatever you want to do. I'll see you next time.